hours of mindless violence today at a suburban high school outside Denver. Two kids are believed to have killed and wounded about 50 of their classmates and then killed themselves. As we all begin to process what happened and begin to wonder why. You had a hundred billion chances and ways to have avoided today, but you decided to spill my blood. You forced me into a corner and gave me only one option. Listen to how the shooting played out on campus. there was somebody in that theater and they were shooting and people were shot by one man. There's also reports of smoke, so we don't know if there was some kind of explosion as well. Casualties coming back. I saw one guy with his legs gone at the knees, some ankles and feet missing, shrapnel wounds on people on the sides of the head, and other things. It's just uh, not good. Terror turning the Boston Marathon into a kind of war zone. This day, when a searing tragedy struck in a place parents felt their children were safe. The worst grade school shooting in U.S. history, at least 27 dead. 20 children, seven adults, including the principal. And the gunman killed himself. And all over this town, in churches like the United Methodist Church behind us, well, the lights are on and they are still open for prayer tonight. I think you're going to just look at the body here. By 11 a.m., police give the first indications that there are multiple fatalities inside. By 11.50 a.m., they announce most of the fatalities are children. It is almost unimaginable. 27 dead, 20 children. <laughs> News of the second worst shooting in U.S. history smothers the country. I know there's not a parent in America who doesn't feel the same overwhelming grief that I do. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own.